This video is going to show how to create and load spice models with the modeling application in ORCAD PSpice. Open the provided design in ORCAD PSpice Designer. A number of models are included in PSpice by default. To view the list of models, select Place Component from the menu. The Component Explorer tab opens. Select PSpice from the Categories list. Expand the PSpice category and select Discrete. Here you can view all discrete component models available, such as transistors, diodes, and MOSFETs. Other types of components are available, such as variable capacitors, realistic inductors, analog behavioral models, and more. To place a model, select it, right-click, and select Place. Close the Component Explorer tab. Also included in PSpice is the modeling application. This provides a wizard-based approach to create custom SPICE models. Multiple types of models can be created, including sources, Zener diodes, and switches. To activate the modeling application, select Place, PSpice Part, Modeling Application from the menu. Select Power MOSFET to create and place a MOSFET model. In the resulting window, select P-Channel MOSFET to create a P-Channel MOSFET. Set the reverse transfer capacitance to 290 picofarads, the input capacitance to 3500 picofarads, and the output capacitance to 390 picofarads. Set the drain to source voltage to negative 60, the drain to source on resistance to 16 milliohms, the series gate resistance to 5.2 ohms, and the gate source threshold voltage to negative 2 volts. Set the diode forward voltage to negative 1 volts, the drain to source leakage current to 1 microamp, the total gate charge to 76 nanocoulombs, the total gate charge voltage to negative 10, the forward transconductance to 20, and the body diode reverse recovery time to 45 nanoseconds. Click Place to place the component and click to place the MOSFET in the empty space. Use V on the keyboard to flip it vertically. SPICE models created with the modeling application can be tested by running the simulation. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. View the simulation results. The reference voltage rises to 12 volts and the output rises briefly above 12 volts before decaying and ramping down. Close the PSPICE AD window. SPICE models can be loaded from third-party sources as well. Let's demonstrate by adding an N-channel MOSFET to the circuit to change the reference voltage. Select the ground symbol on the anode of D1 and press delete on the keyboard. Select place, PSPICE part, discrete, and most from the menu. Click to place the MOSFET in the circuit. Right-click and select end mode when finished. Right-click the MOSFET and select associate PSPICE model. A prompt will appear that attaching a new implementation to the component will override the existing implementation. Click yes to accept. The Associate PSPICE model window opens. Select Browse to browse for a SPICE model. Browse to the provided files and select dmn67d8lw.lib. Click Open. Under Model Mapping, assign Model Terminal 30 to the source pin, Model Terminal 20 to the gate pin, and Model Terminal 10 to the drain pin. Select Update Selected to update the selected part. A prompt will appear that the model attachment was successful. Click OK. Let's finish the circuit. Select Place, PSPICE Part, PSPICE Ground from the menu. Click to place the ground at the transistor source. Right click and select End Mode. Select Place, Wire from the menu, the Wire button from the toolbar, or press W on the keyboard. Click to wire the ground and source. Click to place another wire between the gate and ground. Press Escape on the keyboard when finished. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. View the results. The output voltage now holds steady around 17 volts. Quickly analyze realistic circuit behavior by placing provided SPICE models, imported SPICE models, or models created with the wizard-based approach in ORCAD PSPICE. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.